Hi and welcome to my maths class. Today we are discussing analytical geometry and we are doing specifically the section the equations of a circle. Now before we start this section you must be familiar with all your grade 10 and all your grade 11 work. Analytical geometry is a build up of all these sections even though we mainly do circles in grade 12. In the final exams you'll see that they test you from grade 10 work to grade 12 work. So when you are given that analytical geometry so, so much percentage in the final paper, remember it includes grade 10 and grade 11 geometry. Now the equation of a circle with the center 0 0 is x squared plus y squared is equal to r squared. Now the whole aim is to always get r squared. So they can ask you the equation in two ways. They can tell you, get the equation of the circle if r is equal to 7. Now in the equation, you need r squared. So if you are given r, all you have to do is say if r is equal to 7, then r squared is equal to 49. Therefore, the equation of the circle is x squared plus y squared is equal to 49. And you are done. But remember, when we're doing this, they're telling us get the equation of the circle. If r is equal to 7, we are specifically working where the center is 0, 0. Therefore, we could use x squared plus y squared is equal to 49. Now, the second way they can ask us is calculate the equation of the circle, center 0, 0, if it passes the point minus 2 and 4. So, we know the equation is going to be x squared plus y squared is equal to r squared. Why? Because it's specifically passing the center 0, 0. Now, our aim is to get r squared. That's what we want to solve. We simply substitute x and y is equal to r squared. So we have r squared is equal to 20. Now, if you're going to use your calculator, many a times pupils do this. When you do this, you will get the incorrect answer because this negative, you are not putting it in brackets. When you do it incorrectly and you just press it as I have written it now, into the calculator, you're going to get something like 12. This is incorrect. The reason is you have to put the minus 2 in brackets. The correct answer is 20. Now, the question is calculate the equation of the circle. So even though you've calculated that r squared is equal to 20, you have to rewrite it. x squared plus y squared is equal to 20. And that is answering the question. You have given them the equation of the circle. Now, sometimes when they give you the, these are easy basic questions that you would find in your analytical geometry. But this is more what we're looking at. Solve for the unknown a and minus root of 9 if it is a point on the circle center 0, 0 if x squared plus y squared is equal to 25. Now, what are they doing? Number 1, they've given us x and y. So when we're given x and y, we substitute it. x squared plus y squared is equal to 25. Also, that has been given to us. Now, we simply substitute what we have. a squared, the minus root of 9, remember, I'm squaring it, is equal to 25. Now, when you square negative root of 9, again, remember your brackets, you actually end up with plus 9. So we have a squared plus 9 is equal to 25. Then we take our 9 over, so we've got 25 minus 9 is equal to a squared. If you root it, a is equal to plus or minus 4. So when we are solving for an unknown, especially in a circle, you'll see you tend to have two answers when working with x and y. You don't have two answers with r, because R is always positive, whereas in A is a coordinate on a Cartesian plane. 
So I could have it as minus 4 or I could have it as 4. So it could be on the positive side or it could be on the negative side. Right. So when we're doing equations of a circle with the center 0, 0, your main aim is to solve for r squared. Not r, r squared. When they're asking for the equation. So if they give you x and y, you substitute x and y and you get r squared. If they give you r, you squared, you get r squared. The next thing you must remember in, when it's centered 0, 0, all you have to do is usually substitute and solve for any unknown that they are seeking. And that would cover doing circles with the center 0, 0. Thank you for watching.